All right, week nine of the NFL season is right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to hear about other things from around the country, from what we have NFL. The one constant in all of this is that we have the NFL. Well, an injured 49ers team hosts the Packers on Thursday night. Packers coming off a couple of bad losses. You know, they've lost to the Vikings and the Buccaneers in recent weeks. And um, who knows which Aaron Rodgers will show up. You know, if it's angry Aaron Rodgers, I can guarantee you something's about to go down. 49ers, just injury prone, you know, to hell. I mean, at back, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's injured. George Kittle, pretty much done for the year. I mean... You know, it's just rough out there, man. Got a couple of tank bowls for you. Um, If you follow other, you know, YouTubers out there. Got a couple of tanking type games that nobody really cares about. Um, You know, Giants taking on Washington. You know, the NFC's race may be a dumpster fire, but it's it's our dumpster fire, okay? So... If the Giants do indeed win this game, they'll still be in it. They they only need one win to stay in it, and they're going to be in it because it'll be like a three-way tie for second. If they win it, if Washington wins it, well, man, don't be surprised if we get a, if you know, if it's a two-way tie or something like that for first place. No, the entire division is under 500, so there's nothing really to worry about right now. Texans taking on the Jags, Jags. Well, they had, like, one good game, and then they kind of just teetered off into nothing. And the Texans are just bad. They're just bad this year, you know. One team I won't be watching, though, is the Bears. They have looked anemic the last two times I've watched them play against the Saints and the Rams, respectively. And the Titans are coming off a couple of losses themselves. Very surprising to see that the Titans lost to the Bengals. You'd think that, you know, the Titans could, you know, run all over the Cincinnati Bengals, but that did not happen. That did not happen at all. Not even close. There's also Lions-Vikings, but that's not really interesting to me. Um, the Lions are under 500 now. Vikings, you know, kind of disappointing. Yeah, they have two wins now, but it's still kind of disappointing to watch them. Panthers, they're... They're in a weird situation where they have to play the defending Super Bowl champions. So, uh, I don't know how that's going to go. Then you got the Broncos Falcons. Nothing really to see there. <laughs> Nothing to see there. So, really, I want you guys, I want you guys to focus on the Ravens and the Colts and the Seahawks and the Bills. Two big games at noon on Sunday. And I wonder how the Ravens defense will will stack up, you know. Um, you know, Because, I mean, the Colts, they can score. It's just a matter of which Phillip Rivers are you going to get. And if the Ravens defense picks off Phillip Rivers like three or four times or something like that, even twice, I'm thinking the Ravens may have even more of a chance in this game. Um, Colts defense taking on the Ravens offense. Man, that's going to be fun to watch, you know. The Colts defense has been good all season long. The Ravens, although they've had some tough outings as of late, they are still a pretty damn good team. Still a pretty good team. So, I wonder what Lamar Jackson and the core of running backs in the backfield are going to have for that Colts defense. And it's going to be interesting to see, man. Meanwhile, the struggling Bills, uh, they're kind of struggling. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Josh Allen, he, he's hes a decent quarterback. He's been decent. He's had flashes of greatness this year, but he's been pretty decent along with the rest of the team. But somehow, some way, the Bills do have a lot more wins this year than they've had in, you know, a long time, you know, because last year they got in the playoffs and things like that. Um, or was the year before that? I don't remember. But it's been they've been in the playoffs the last couple of years. They've been in and around the playoff pitch the last couple of years. Now are they going to stop, you know, Russell Wilson 
and DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett because, man, Russell can throw that ball. He can throw it all over the field if he wants to. He can do whatever he wants if he has those two wide receivers out there. And it's it's up it's up to the Bills defense. They they gotta they 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 gotta do a little bit better, man. They they've been kind of iffy, you know, the past few weeks. I mean, sure they allowed ten points to the Jets, but that's the Jets, man. And you know, the offense is really the big concern here for the Bills defense. Also a big concern because you know again. That Seahawks offense is lethal, very lethal. As we go along here on the day, you know, we got a bunch of games late in the afternoon. Raiders, Chargers, will the Chargers blow another lead? Can the Raiders, you know, rebound? Who knows? There's also Patriots, Jets on Monday night, but nobody cares about that game because it's the Jets. And the Patriots are just underachieving this year, so don't even wish your time watching that. Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night. Rematch of week one, a divisional matchup. In the NFC South, the New Orleans Saints taking on Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Now, these two teams have kind of flipped paths, you know. The Saints, they were looking pretty good to start off the season, and now they've kind of teetered off. And everything like that. The Buccaneers have started to flex their muscles on other teams and whatnot. They've started to look very, very good. Aside from, you know, uh, Monday night. Because I don't know what in the world that was on Monday night. It was rough on Monday night, to say the least. So, how will Tom Brady and Drew Brees break each other's records for like, you know, the 700th time in a row and something like that? How will that go? Meanwhile, meanwhile, we ain't forgot about this 325 slate two, well, I should say one interesting game, and one game involving my Dallas Cowboys. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, the undefeated Steelers come into Jerry World to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I have no idea who the quarterback is going to be for the Cowboys. Could it be Ben DiNucci again? Could it be Garrett Gilbert? Could it be Cooper Rush? I don't know. All I know is that the Cowboys did look much better on defense against the Eagles, forcing a lot of turnovers, getting a lot of sacks. And despite a wonky ref ball type play at the end of that game on Sunday night, they had a chance to really take control of the NFC East. And, they, and you know, it's very, very unlikely because I think the Steelers do have a lot of firepower on offense now. Now, especially that Chase Claypool is emerging as a rising star, you know. But the Steelers' offense kind of looks anemic at times. They kind of look bad at times, but they kind of look rough. You know, against the Ravens last week, for example, they had a they had a pick six, and then... You know, the defense let the Ravens score 17 unanswered, and the offense just couldn't do anything for a long time until the second half. They couldn't do anything until the second half. So, which, you know, the Steelers have not looked like the greatest 7-0 team, but here we are. Here they are, 7-0, led by Ben Roethlisberger, Juju Smith-Schuster, and James Conner, along with Mike Tomlin as the head coach. You know. Very interesting team. You know, they got a lot of guys on defense. You know, Dev, you know, Devin Bush, but Dupree, well, Devin Bush is injured, but but Dupree, Binko Fitzpatrick, I mean, TJ Watt, the list goes on and on because that defense is really, really solid. Offense is really, really solid. It's just not it, there there's only been one complete game for the Steelers this year, and that was the Browns game. That was really the only game where it felt complete, like everything worked. Most of the other times I've seen the Steelers play, it's been kind of rough to watch, you know, because it's a, they've had the they had the you know struggle against the Eagles, you know, struggle against the Ravens, you know. I mean, of course, it was a heavyweight fight, but they struggled. As far as the Cowboys go, again, 
don't know who the quarterback is going to be. If we can keep the trick plays out of the playbook, I think everything will be fine. <laughs> you know, don't just say forget about it. We still have a long season to go. To a time and Kyler Murray time out there in Arizona. Oh, whoo boy. I hate that only a small portion of the country is getting this game. I really do. I really do. It's going to be one hell of a matchup, let me tell you that. The Dolphins and the Cardinals is going to be, you know. Dolphins have looked good. They've looked interesting. They've looked fun the past few weeks. And the Cardinals are good because they have that air raid guiding them. And they have Buda Baker and Patrick Peterson on defense, you know. Looking real good. Of course, you know, the Cardinals run that air raid system. Going to be interesting to see how, you know, the Dolphins defended and what can Tua do in his second start. He looked, he didn't look the greatest in that first start. You know, he fumbled on his first place, but he bounced back, threw a touchdown, threw a touchdown. He threw a touchdown, guys. But we'll see how he does against the team, you know, another NFC West opponent. It's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that. So, week nine of the NFL season really comes down to the um, the Seahawks-Bills game, the, the Ravens-Colts game, Steelers-Cowboys, of course, Dolphins-Cardinals, and Saints-Buccaneers. As, you know, as far as your Sunday slate goes, you know, keep your eyes on those five games throughout the day. Not sure if I really want to watch the 49ers take on the Packers or not. And I know I'm not watching Monday Night Football. It's rough. Monday Night Football is rough to watch. So, that being said, we'll see how things go on Sunday. And I'll see you after, you know, the week is over, you know, with more NFL content anyway. See you on next Tuesday for more NFL stuff.